Look! Over there! Razor! Everyone. I am here. Razor, are you okay? Are you hurt? Do you need healing? No need. Okay. I smelled something. This, give to you. What's this? Is this a part of the machine? Clear smell. Same as letter. Hmm. Razor did mention that his letter had a peculiar smell. You sure have a great sense of smell, Razor. Oh, did Dodo King factor that in too? Also, this one and that one? <laughs> Same smell. Oh? This thing? Put inside metal person. Same. Here. Yes, I don't understand how. Traveler is clever. Razor trusts. Yeah, Klee trusts the honorary knight too. Not so fast. We need to think this through. What will happen if we reinsert the missing component? This Inazuman machine could well be something that Dodo King left here for us to find and activate. It might reawaken Dodo King himself. Then we will be ready for him. Honorary Knight, prepare yourself. We really wanted to meet Dodo King. That's why we came here, right? <laughs> Let's hope your faith in me is not misplaced. Before we get to the crystals, well, why don't we start with the machine itself? Our previous conjecture was correct. This giant in Inazuman attire is a machine modeled on the human form. Was it built for fighting? Like ruin guards? I'm afraid so. It possesses significant combat capabilities and seems to be autonomous. But for it to attack us indiscriminately like this, I believe it must have been damaged some time ago. Its outward appearance confirms its Inazuman origin. But, as far as I know, Inazuma is still under the Sakaku Decree. How could such a massive piece of offensive weaponry have found its way here? It seems the answer to that question disappeared with the people that used to inhabit this archipelago. People? I'm sure the shrewdest among you have already come to the same conclusion. These deserted islands bear signs of human activity. I would go so far as to infer that this archipelago once held a human population. They were most likely visitors from elsewhere, not indigenous to the islands. They may have spent a long time here before finding a way to return home. Since then, the island has been empty, with only a few scattered remnants of the past. As for the crystals... Hmm... They've been manufactured from a particularly rare type of ore. Transparent. I believe they must have a specific function. We found a pile of stones and small flowers nearby. Do you think there's any connection? 
That sounds like someone wanted to commemorate the machine. Yes, I had a look at it myself. Uh, how can I put it? It almost feels like someone left a heartfelt offering of gratitude. Hmm. I see. Well, what about the rest of you? Who do you think would want to commemorate a machine in this way? Perhaps someone who was truly grateful. Only people that had benefited directly from the machine would leave a memorial like this. If the machine coexisted with that first group of humans, then the memorial isn't so hard to understand. Of course, this is only a hypothesis. Coexisted? You mean before it became damaged? Hmm, I wonder what exactly happened to it. Hmm. There is a Hilicho presence here. Perhaps this machine's indiscriminate attack is actually supposed to be targeted at hilly churls to protect the inhabitants. An unlikely coincidence, I would have thought. In any case, this is all speculation. If we want to get to the bottom of it, we'll need more evidence. Yes, though we don't have any clues to go on, we should sweep the area again soon. But first, let's focus our attention on the problem at hand. Look! Another letter! It must be Dodo King! A letter? Quick, read it! Mysterious Dodo King, mysterious Dodo King. He sleeps alone on the southwesterly aisle. The bad child made him wait too long. The days grow dark, the stars are rising. Greedy spirit, greedy spirit, you made the moon run a ring. Keys of three colors guarded by a strange fish, the secret lies here. Do you dare to proceed? More cryptic riddles? What could it mean? Does it have anything to do with those crystals? And also, Southwesterly Isle? Now which island would that be? I'd say it's about time we went and investigated instead of standing here making wild guesses. We've looked all over these islands, but there's nothing interesting here. There is too. The island over there is really weird. It has a big, huge, round thingy on it. Clee, did you go off by yourself without authorization again? Oh, sorry. I just wanted to go for a walk. As long as you didn't activate any mechanisms. <sighs> Even if it seems completely empty here, it's easy to run into danger when you're by yourself. Clee, next time you want to go anywhere, please tell me first, okay? We'll go together. How does that sound? I thought Master Jean is always busy with other things. You really mean it? Of course. Yay! Okay! <sighs> Where does she get the energy? If Paimon didn't know better, Paimon would think that Jean was Clee's mother. You know, I had the exact same thought just now. Kaya. <laughs> My apologies, Acting Grandmaster. Honorary Knight, let's go and take a look. <laughs> 